Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the interactive spreadsheet on the HowToStats website that will allow you to, to perform a 2x2 two two table uh, Pearson chi-square analysis. And it not only calculates the Pearson chi-square value, it does all the intermediate calculations, and it also does a little write-up of the results at the end. So how to use this? The first step is to click on Edit. And this will activate the sheet. It should change it into a different color. OK, so that went and that shade changes. It means it's activated. And what's in here now are the values that correspond to another video I did on uh, using SPSS to perform a 2x2 two two table analysis or 2x2 two two contingency table analysis. And these are the only values that you need to change to perform the analysis. These are the observed frequencies. All right, so these were the observed frequencies found in the, in the uh, video. And that's what you would input here. And then it does all the calculations. And I'll give you an example of how you can change that easily. But hit this section here is the expected cell frequencies over here. So then we get ex expected cell frequencies. And then it does all the calculations for the difference between observed and expected and difference. And then that value squared. And then it divides it by the expected frequencies, so it does all the calculations. I've also got another video where I go through the calculations in a, in a basically a, a, like a lecture format, but just a very simple way of all the calculations involved in, in performing a 2x2 uh, two two table analysis. Uh, and I also make reference to this uh, video, or, or to the spreadsheet. Anyway, down here is the chi-square value. And then it gives you a measure, of, uh, basically a correlation. But it's called phi, or phi. It's 0.297. And then at the bottom, it gives you um, a, an interactive write-up of the results. So a 2x2 two two table contingency table analysis was conducted. And it says the variable a, yes, no. Well, you can change that by changing the values above. All right, so let me do. Let's show an. Let me show you an example. These are the numbers you need to change, and I'm going to use um, uh, David Howell's example in his Statistical Methods for Psychology, sixth edition, on page 154. He gives an example of a two by two table analysis uh, for heart attacks uh, and uh, aspirin versus placebo. So the numbers correspond to 104 in that cell. 189 in that cell. And you can see that the spreadsheet is doing calculations automatically. 10,845 in there, and then 10,933 in that cell. OK, so the calculations are done. But you can also change the variable name. And that will help you with the write-up at the bottom of the report. So in this case, I'm going to write heart attack. And I'm going to write uh, yes, no. And in this case here, uh, I'm going to call this treatment. And I'm going to call that aspirin. And this one, placebo. All right? And the hypothesis is that uh, there'll be an association between taking placebo uh, versus aspirin and the number of heart attacks you get. Looking at the observed variables, you can't really see much of an expected effect. Uh, and then we've got over here uh, the calculations associated with the expected frequencies. So this is done automatically. So if I change this to uh, 3,000, it will change automatically. Or it should change quickly. Ah, there we go. See how quickly that changes? So it all changes. Let me change it back. 189 is how many placebo observations there are. And then it changes it back. So these are the expected cell frequencies. Okay, and then it does the calculations of the difference between observed and expected for each of the four cells to help calculate the ultimate chi-square value. All right, so then it does all this. It sums those differences between the differences. Whoops. Kind of hitting a wrong side there. There we go. So this is the chi-square value. And that's the phi value, so 25. And then the write-up actually changes based on what you're inputting into the table above. So a 2 by 2 table contingency table analysis was conducted. Uh, and then see how it says heart attack here? Yes, no was associated with treatment. The best way to read this is to actually get a new 
blank document. All right, and just grab this like this, and then copy, Control C, and then just paste. And that'll show up something that you can include in a report, just like that. So here we go, we've got a 2x2 two two contingency table analysis was conducted, that might be a bit too big, let's go 150. A 2x2 two two contingency table analysis was conducted to evaluate whether heart attack, yes, no, was associated with treatment, aspirin placebo. The analysis yielded a Pearson chi-square uh, with one degree of freedom and n equal 22,071, and then it gives a chi-square value. Unfortunately, with the spreadsheet now, I can't force it to do only two decimal places, so you'll have to adjust that yourself. Uh, that's pretty minor. Uh, so the analysis yielded a Pearson chi-square value of 25.01, which is greater than the critical value of 3.85. So I'm assuming that you're using p less than, uh, that you're using an alpha level of 0 0.05, which is almost always the case. So thus, the null hypothesis of no association was rejected, p less than 0 0.05. Phi was estimated at 0 0.033363. Again, you probably only report that to two decimal places. All right, so now let's check it out. If I change the numbers to something like 50, 49, and 49, and 50. So all these numbers are going to change. That's all I have to input. And let's just say it was the same uh, analysis, like same variables. So I just copy, put that into whoop, to the spreadsheet, and the report, the results section is rewritten. And you can see that the chi-square value now has changed, and the p greater, the uh, no associate, the hypothesis of no association of no association was not rejected. p greater than 0 0.05, five. And then phi was estimated at something really small. So that's a little cool little. Uh, spreadsheet I created to help do calculations for a 2x2 two two table analysis. Um, all you have to do is input uh, your observed variables and if you want to take it to the next level, change the names of your variables and the levels associated with them and the results section will end up changing automatically. So I hope you find that as cool as I do and I'll catch you next time.